fucked up people teach. What? What did you say? I said fucked up people teach fucked up people shit. What did you say about the mama stuff? If you realize that you fucked up in life, the only reason you're fucked up is because you were taught fucked up shit. And the reason why I said mamas is because most of us are raised by our mamas. If you have a two-parent household and you still fucked up, then that means that you had a fucked up mama. <laughs> I am one of them fucked up mama, fucked up daddy people. I have fucked up parents, but we all have to understand that our parents did the best that they could with what they knew. Even though we all fucked up. And I can guarantee you, like I told you earlier, if you have a child, you're going to have a fucked up child. Why? Because the best that we know is still not good enough. We are going to fuck up our children in some way. We are going to give them too much love or not enough love. Too many hugs or not enough hugs. Too many kisses, not enough kisses. <laughs> attend every parent-teacher conference. Don't attend shit. <laughs> do they homework for them. Don't do shit for them. I mean, nobody is going to come out of childhood into adulthood <laughs> unscathed. You're going to be <laughs> fucked up in some way, shape, form, or fashion. That is just life. Because something is going to happen to you to fuck you up. And then you are going to need to learn how to heal from it. And that's where most people fuck up. Is they grow up, they realize that they're fucked up, but they don't get the help. Or they don't try to learn and grow from it and I mean I, I'm sure a lot of y'all sitting here thinking well who the fuck are you to talk to me about me being fucked up shit you fucked up I know I'm fucked up but you know the thing about my fucked upness is I acknowledged that I was fucked up I embraced that I was fucked up I went in deep into therapy of with somebody and by myself trying to figure out why was I fucked up and how can I get over it and a lot of people don't want to do that a lot of people just want to push the blame off on their parents or on society or if you are a person of color on another person of color or a person of non-color i.e. white people <laughs> um, and yes you are all right in believing that that is the reason why you are fucked up. I'm fucked up because of my parents. I'm fucked up because of society. I'm fucked up because when I was a kid, one of my cousins told me fucked up shit that just altered my self-perception of me. But although I am right, I can still grow. I can still develop. I can still change. And so can you. And that is your personal responsibility to do so. To try and make this world a slightly less fucked up place. Because people are now just stuck in their fucked upness thinking I ain't got to do shit. But just complain about how fucked up I am. No, you got to do. You got to change. You got to grow. You got to 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 nurture yourself. To develop yourself. And it comes in different ways I mean if you find that that you constantly reliving the same parts of your life over and over and over again my mama wasn't there for me my mama used to beat me all the time I was touched when I was 12 years old and yeah I can say that because I was touched when I was 12 years old so get off your high horse but you know, I was this, I was that. And you just keep going over and over and over again, but you're never making any progress to get through it or you're never coming to some type of resolution of how you can grow and change from that, then you're part of the problem. And there are only two things that you can do. Either one, you can keep doing the same thing that you're doing now, which is serving no purpose, which is not helping you grow in any way, or two, you can get help. And if you can't afford a therapist, they do have free ones. Um, I know on Twitter, there were like this woman who had like a post of tons of them. And I'll figure out what her name is and put it on the later one of these. If there is, God willing. Or if you don't want therapy, if you don't feel that 
you need to talk to somebody about what you're doing and why it's affecting you, then journal that shit out. Get a pad, get a pen, and start writing, and start getting it out, and start talking about it. Embrace those feelings. Embrace that anger. You, you got pissed off because you weren't this. Embrace that anger. Get through that anger. Write out your story to that person. Tell that person in letter how much you hate them. Or if that person's alive and you want to get immediate response, go to that person and tell them, you fucked up. Mama, you fucked me up because you didn't do this. Or you didn't do that. But understand, you may not get the answer you want. You may go, Mama, you didn't give me the love that I needed. And your mama gonna go, you had a roof. You had food. Shut the fuck up. That's not what you want to hear. So, understand that you may not get the reply that you want to. Because life ain't a fairy tale. Which is why I suggest journaling it. I suggest writing it out. I suggest, if you want to, go to the ocean and yell at the waves. Each wave that comes in is the person who pissed you off. And you just yell at them waves until you can't yell no more. You let the anger out. You let the sadness out. You let everything out until you are just wiped and spent. And all you can do is just fall in the sand and have sand all in your hair and on your eyes and tears just streaming down your face. And you got snot mingling with the sand and you just... (laughs) Okay, that's really disgusting to me because... (laughs) I personally don't like sand because I know the bugs that live in the sand, so I would just be completely freaked out. But that may work for somebody. So if that's you, boo boo, then then do you. Go hug a tree. Go lay in the grass. Go do whatever you have to do to get that out. But heal thyself. Shit. How long how long are you going to live your life doing the same shit? How long? I mean, life is going to be over real quick. And I'm sure you want better for yourself. I'm sure you want better for your kids. I'm sure, I, I, I hope you want better for your kids. So get the help that you need. Therapy is your friend. Getting better is your friend. You don't, you don't have to stay where you at. And I'm only telling you this, I've only said this shit because I don't know none of you. Or maybe I do know some of you because I'm sure there's some friends going to be watching this video going, what is wrong with Alicia? She done lost her fucking mind. But I'm only telling you this whether I know you or not because I love you. I want you to be the best you that you can be. I want you to have a life that's filled with love and filled with happiness. I want you to wake up each morning just so happy, so grateful, so enthused that you are alive for another day and you get to see your family. And I want you to have genuine love for your family. Even your mama and daddy who fucked up. I want you to have genuine love and appreciation for them in all their fucked upness because life is short a fairy just went by a fairy signifying the fact that everything you just heard is a fact and is true yeah. <laughs> that's it